Hello and welcome to the history of movie theaters and drive-ins for Tyler, Texas. 1925 The Arcadia Theater opens. 1930 The Liberty Theater is opened on June 20 by Texas Consolidated Theaters. 1936 The Joy Theater opens on April 5. 1940 Interstate Theaters opens the Tyler Theater on August 2nd. 1941 Interstate Theaters closes the Queen Theater. 1946 Index opens the State Theater in Lindale. 1949 Starlight Drive-In, the first drive-in in town opens on February 25 after being delayed by ground damage after a storm. Another storm blew down the screen a month later. Interstate Theaters opens the Crest Drive-In on March 25. 1951 S.G. Fry Theaters opens the Rose Garden Drive-In on January 24. 24. Interstate Theaters sells the Majestic Theater to new owners. 1952 Takes over the Liberty Theater from Interstate Theaters. 1952. The Majestic Theater closes. 1957 The Apache Drive-In opens on March 9. 1958 The Starlight Drive-In closes. 1959 S.G. Fry closes the Joy Theater. 1969 Gulf States Theaters takes over the Apache Drive-In. 1971 Gulf States sells the Apache Drive-In. 1972 The Bergfeld Cinema IN2 opens on January 19 as the first twin cinema town by the owners of the Apache Drive-In, Texas National Theaters. The Loop East Cinema opens on January 26 as the first adult cinema in town. The Crest Drive-In closes. 1973 Plitt Theaters takes over the Bergfeld Cinema's I and II and renames it Cinema II. The Liberty and Loop East Adult Cinemas closes. 1974 
The Arcadia Theatre closes. Nineteen seventy five. The Liberty Theatre reopens on March twenty eighth. Nineteen seventy six. On April eighth, the Gaslight Four Cinemas opens with Chill Wills, who opened Many Man and National General Cinemas on stage. It was the first multiplex cinema in town. 1977 The Apache Drive-In switches over to adult movies. 1978 Cinemark takes over the Gaslight Cinemas 4. 1979 The Cinema 4 opens on April 20th. It was later taken over by Cinemark. The Liberty Theatre closes. 1980 On November 7th, the Apache Drive-In moves over to Highway 31 East, six miles from downtown, where it continues to show adult movies. Cinemark sells the Cinema 4 to Plitt Southern and the Gaslight 4 to Guy Con Enterprises and Plitt Theatres. 1981 The Rose Garden Drive-In closes. 1982 The Tyler Theatre closes. 1984 Plitt Theatres opens the Times Square 5 on June 4th. 1985 Cineplex Odeon of Toronto takes over Plitt Southern Theatres. 1986 The Cineplex Odeon Cinema 4 is renamed South Loop 4 to avoid confusion with Cinema 2. 1992 Cineplex Odeon sells its area theaters to Carmike Cinemas as Cineplex pulls out of the South. Wallace Theatres opens the movies 6 on May 15. Cineplex Odeon closes the cinema too. 1996 Carmike Cinemas closes the Gaslight 4. 1997 Wallace Theatres opens the Tyler Rose on May 23rd with 10 screens. 1998 The Tyler Rose expands to 14 screens. 1999 The Carmike Times Square 5 closes 2003 The Times Square Cinemas reopens on July 22nd 
The Wallace Movie 6 closes as a prime example of the disposable movie theater. 2005 On April 22, the Carmike Stadium 14 opens, which a re-entry into the Tyler area for Carmike. 2007 The Skyview Drive-In opens. 2011 The Liberty Theatre reopens as a live theatre on September 10. Carmike installs a big D-screen at the Carmike Stadium 14. 2013 December, the big D-screen at the Carmike Stadium 14 becomes an IMAX screen. Regal takes over the Hollywood Tyler Rose Cinemas. 2015 The Studio Movie Grill opens with five dine-in screens on April 16. 2016 AMC takes over Carmike Cinemas, the Carmike Stadium 14 is renamed Classic Tyler 14. 2017 The Skyview Drive-In closes. 2018 Sinworld takes over Regal Cinemas. 2018 Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.